a 15 kilogram object with negligible mass is pulled directly upwards by a piece of rope. At first, the object accelerates 3 meters per second until it reaches a uniform speed. Finally, it slows down with an acceleration of minus 1.5 meters per second squared. Find the tension in the cable during each stage of its motion. So there are three stages of its motion here. First, when it first accelerates. Second, at its uniform speed. And thirdly, when it has an acceleration of minus 1.5 meters per second squared. Here we realize it's slowing down. So, the weight of the object is 15 times 9.8, which is 147 newtons. So 9.8 is the acceleration due to gravity. The initial acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. If we resolve vertically, well, we've got the tension minus the weight. So T minus 147 is equal to MA, which is going to be 15 times 3, because it's... Uh, accelerating at 3 uh, meters per second squared using here F is equal to MA. Solving that we're going to get that T is equal to 192 newtons. The constant speed, so it pulls and then gets to a constant speed, when it travels at constant speed there is no acceleration and therefore there's no resultant force so therefore these two must balance each other out therefore the tension must be equal to the weight therefore the tension will be equal to 147 newtons and the final stage the final acceleration of minus 1.5 meters per second squared so resolving vertically again so we've got this minus this so we've got t minus 147 will be equal to 15 times minus 1.5 and we use again f is equal to ma so it's going to be T will be equal to 15 times minus 1.5 plus 147, which gives me 124.5 newtons. So here we've looked at a object at three different stages. When you like pull it up initially, you accelerate, reach a constant velocity, and then you finally slow down. Notice that the tension in the string is going to be different in all three cases.